Hello again everyone, Altrius here. Me, myself and I are doing a daily. It's an Isaac daily. Recently I did an Isaac daily, but I didn't upload it. This is because it was only going as far as Mom, and I didn't get past Caves 1? Something like that? Uh, that was pre, pre back in the game. Yesterday's daily was tremendous, so I'm hoping maybe we can get as good a, a, a result. From today's day is we do from yesterday's day. We are going as oh, probably not a good time to pick that up. We're going as far as Satan. So the only way we can possibly get more out of this run, like we did yesterday, uh, is to um oh careful. It, it, it is to do the self sacrifice room. It's the only way to get to uh, the dark room if you can't go through the chest, which we can't. Because the trophy will replace the chest. Here we are fighting Blue Famine. Blue Famine is going to give us another spirit heart. And it will also give us a ball of bandages slash cube of meat. Uh, we don't know which one it will be. But we know it's going to be one of them. And it's the only thing that we know for certain that we're getting. Uh, so it's a possible target for a reroll. However, I have to consider that maybe a ball of bandages or cube of meat is actually a really good item to have. So I think I'm going to be happy with it and take it, uh, even though we could re-roll it. And then we'll go back through the level and try to find the actual item room. And hope maybe that it's something that we can pick up and put back down again. If it's a passive item, I guess there are a few passive items that can really screw us over. Uh, but by and large, that was kind of <laughs> nearly, nearly uh, came a cropper in my own... Hoist by my own petard, I nearly was, by trying to use Cuban meat too aggressively. Um, if it's a passive item, most of them are not bad for us. I will be a bit salty if it turns out to be Epic Fetus. Or Dr. Fetus, either of the Fetus items, because they just take over the run, you know? Uh, personally, I'm not very good with Epic Fetus. Or Dr. Fetus. You tend to blow yourself up with the Fetus items. But also, it's just not, it's not much fun. Uh, it's, it's fun the first few times. Dropping bombs on all your enemies, having an infinite amount of explosive power, is reasonably entertaining. However, it does get old fast, especially when you keep hitting yourself. And there's a lot to be said in an Isaac run, just for the fact that the, the tier effects that you get on normal tiers can turn out to be really cool. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot more interest, I suppose, in that. Uh, so I guess we'll blow it up. We don't know what we're getting, but I don't want to waste the HP on finding out. Uh, it's Lil Loki, so after all that, you know, tirade about how bad the Epic Fetus items are, we didn't get one. Let's take the pill. It's infested with the question mark. The question mark and exclamation mark versions of infested just do different things. They cause spiders in different ways. I forget which, but one of them involves there being poop on the floor, and all the poop turns into spiders. It may be whether you've shot the poop or not. Off the top of my head, I don't know. Alright, well this is uh, no, um, look. <laughs> I know I'm going to accidentally eat myself here, so let's do this. It's another basement, so that should be fine. We haven't actually taken any damage yet, despite my best efforts. Uh, I guess I was originally going that way and then changed my mind and then didn't change it back. But let's use Cuban Meat. Perfect. Okay, so this is a, an okay run. We haven't really improved ourselves hugely on the previous floor, but the Cuban Meat is really helping out. Provided I continue to use it sensibly rather than foolishly. Foolishly remains an option. Uh, we are looking for... There's another bomb. We could open that golden chest. We are looking for the item room and all the boss. We don't have any curses, so we'll know whether we want to take what we get or re-roll it. We should probably do the boss now. We're going to want the opportunity to re-roll the devil item, and if we don't want to re-roll the devil item, we'll take the devil item and maybe re-roll the boss item. So we've got options at the moment, which is uh, always good good for us. Uh, it's a monstro fight, so shouldn't really be expecting to take too much damage, but you know how it is. You don't expect to take too much damage, and then you take too much damage, so I suppose we'll uh, withhold judgement. I guess I've been a bit hard on myself recently, <laughs> hard on, because I've not given myself the credit for doing too well, which, to be fair, Recent track record has been not too, not doing too well, but you know, seventy first yesterday. I haven't looked on greed, but actually to see how well we really are doing. But I think I'm going to take 
But right, here's what we'll do. We'll take Sat Dag for the same reasons we took it yesterday. We'll take Guppy's head. This is going to hurt. Yeah. We'll use Guppy's head and then we'll try to get this... Oh, we took damage. Never mind. <laughs> is this even... No. <laughs> it wasn't worth the damage or the HP uh, that we spent on it. But we have got one Guppy item. And we do have these PJs, which is going to give us so much HP. I don't actually feel too bad about it. Mostly I feel bad about the damage that we took. Not about the fact that... Okay. I feel bad about the fact that there's a damage penalty associated with the damage that we took. Not about the fact that that was a very difficult situation to find ourselves in anyway. Two hearts would have been useful once upon a time. We don't really have two hearts anymore, so I guess it is what it is. Little Loki, not really knocking it out of the park, I suppose. Not quite as much as our familiars yesterday did, although we did have about five million of those, whereas we've got one of these, so it's a little bit hard to pass judgment. Oh, Polyphemus. I'm very much glad that I re-rolled what I did re-roll. Even though it works out the way that it did, which was not too well. But Polyphemus is a great item. It's going to reduce our... Oh, let's not walk into the spikes. Reduce our shots fire rate quite considerably, but our tier will reduce itself as it goes through enemies. Basically, the, the damage that you did to an enemy is subtracted from the tier, and the tier keeps going. Which is sweet. We want to go a little bit faster. We do need to do Boss Rush and Hush, I know. I didn't do Hush yesterday because I said Hush is quite a boring fight. But unfortunately, in order to compete, we have to. Because uh, this run will not stop at Mom's heart. This run will stop when the fat lady sings. Uh, no thank you. Getting quite good at those as well. Used to be uh, those things would be the end of me. So we need to sort of ration our shots now. Our fire rate's low enough that every shot really needs to count. Why did I come in here? Yeah, good question. Why did I come in here? Let's blow this thing up, see if there's a... Oh yeah, good job. <coughs> Forget, of course, that little Loki uh, will continue to fire in all directions. Shoot your bombs out of the way, so stop firing when you're, in, when you're waiting for a bomb to go off. Careful there. I don't like these things. Mostly because it hit me just now, but also in general. A reroll is ready. Let's find our item room. Now, unfortunately, we are going to... Oh, all the boss. That's fine, too. We are going to have to do... Hush. Uh, what a great time to lay peep, uh, creep exactly where I was going to stand. You arsehole. Uh, where do I stand? Over here. Good. I'm trying to get my orbitals to do damage, but I don't want to get too close to him, because he's going to do a creep attack again whilst I'm standing next to him. Yeah, like that. See? But also, the eyes. It's all in the eyes. Yeah, I can't avoid these fucking eyes. They're always exactly where you want to stand, if you noticed. Sack Dag doing its job, though. That's always good. There is HP. Do we take it now? Good question. Uh, this is a Krampus fight. I don't really want the HP necessarily. I think we're doing okay. Um, so, perhaps we should think about re-rolling the HP... Keep, definitely keep Lump of Coal. Real HP into range. Uh, up. I'm not going to take it because I see a battery. Can we get the battery? Not sure. But I'm going to take the battery on the way back. But I'm going to find the item room now. See if we want to re-roll the item room. If we want to re-roll the item room, we should. Attempt to do that curse room as well. Uh, otherwise, we should maybe think about... Uh, that was really bad. Uh, think about re-rolling the range upgrade that the boss gave us again. We want to re-roll that. Okay. We had that the other day. It turns out... Oh. No. We can't afford to do the self-sacrifice room stuff. Ah, Guppy's right. Guppy's, Guppy's poor. That's uh, pretty good. We're going to convert... Oh, shit. <laughs> convert that. Take this. Now do we want to re-roll this? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get a battery? We have too many re-roll targets. There's the range upgrade, which could be useful. Our range is actually pretty good. <laughs> I was going to say it's crap, but it's not crap, so that would be disingenuous. What was I saying? If I remember. The point is, we can't make self-sacrifice work, because there's just not enough scope for it to be valuable, I expect. If that is what I would suggest to be the case. 
We can go to back to the shop. I don't think there's anything I wanted. Uh, we've got a blank card. I don't want it. So many things to re-roll on this floor and only one battery. Maybe two batteries. All right. In the interest of time, I'm going to take this battery and re-roll the range upgrade. I will take or leave whatever that gives us and then go. Because we need to get there back to boss rush and hush. Uh, yeah, syringe. Speed and damage is great. And syringes contribute to the spun transformation, which is new in Afterbirth and gives you a plus two damage. So for three syringes, we can get plus two damage. And there's one of the three. We've also got two guppy items, so there's one of our uh, two of our three of that. So we'll be really looking for a third guppy item, another two syringes, and then oh, uh, don't even ask me why I was <laughs> in that position, just walking into enemies. Lol. Maybe I guess I thought I could do damage uh, without sack dagger. Okay, cool. I, I know I had a train of thought earlier, but I don't remember it. <laughs> so I'm just going to drop it. End. Ask again later. Another reroll target. We've got so many poor items, I think. Um, we've got some decent items from rerolls. But we haven't managed to get the most out of our rerolls. A tears upgrade with Polyphemus is really, really useful. And I guess I don't really want either of these. I think that... Um, that boom item there explodes your tears. When you when you press the space bar, all your tears explode instead of bombs. This is fine. That's a great time to have. Um... Oh, that's perfect. Great time to have a reroll ready. Deal with the devil? No. Jesus, use I will actually take. It's a pretty decent damage upgrade. The range is incidental, I guess, but well made it. Uh, do you know what? I'm just gonna re-roll this, and it's bum friend. Uh, I guess it could be good. We do have 25 coins. What are we gonna do with them? What do we need coins for? Nothing. Points. Bum friend can pick up coins that we can't access. Possibly turn them into consumables that we then can access. So there's options in there. That floor really put us ahead of the curve, um, and we've got now a depth XL, which means, in fact, this is our last floor before boss rush, so maybe I could have done a little bit more exploration, but we weren't to know. Boss rush is a lot more important than full exploration on all of these floors. Oh, thank you for turning into a bony and immediately shooting me. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. This fucking room, though. How do you even deal with it? Anybody? Carefully, I guess. Bum friends floating around. What have you got for me? Nothing? Okay. Put this here so you can get some spirit hearts can. And uh, so many familiars, but I don't... We had the familiars run yesterday. Let's do something different game. See if we can manage that, maybe? Orbitals for this room, I think. Yeah. That's working out. It's a bit dangerous for obvious reasons, I'm sure. Uh, but we did it nonetheless. I'm actually uh, choosing when I fire, rather than holding down the button at the moment. Just so that I'm sure that my, well, as sure as I can be that the tier that I fire is doing the best it can. Uh, there's more? Yes, there is more. This should give us a full charge, though. Yeah, it did. So we'll go and re-roll little Steven, which is not... Oh, what is happening? That doesn't even help us, because we don't have red HP. There are two item rooms, don't forget. There's an XL floor. That's how they work. Two item rooms, one shop. Uh, the viral video that I'm sure you've all seen on the internet. Great, here's the one shot, which has greed in it. It's tremendous. Well, I like I said, we'll let uh, Bumfriend pick up all the, the greed coins. See if it gives us something worthwhile. I don't really want them. I mean, I, I could want them. The points might be useful. We may get money equals power or something like that, but uh, who cares, right? The pill is telepills, which would have been useful to know a long time ago. Never mind. Now, where are we? Uh, we're not too far away. And I guess I don't really care about any of the things that Bumfriend left behind in there. But still. Still, game. I'm not happy with your performance. We've got a second item room to find. We should concentrate on that, really. Careful. <laughs> Held my breath. In these fateful dodges. Artful dodges. Yeah, I like that. What's in here? 
<laughs> hmm. We should open these. Get rid of that. The question is, do we want Book of Belial? I'm going to suggest no, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll take this, we'll use it once, we'll put it back. Now if we can re-roll those, we can get even more books and then eventually... Oh, more of this. Eventually turn them into... Ooh, there you are. Interesting, but not necessarily useful. This would have been useful on, a, obviously, a previous run, where AWARS can actually get us somewhere that we haven't... What am I fighting these for? Let's go. On a previous run where AWARS can get us somewhere, that would be good. But this is not a previous run. This is this run, where AWARS cannot get us further than we're already going to be going. So, probably not the biggest biggest deal for us, but we don't have anything else in that slot, so use it. We may as well. That's a uh, store credit, I think, so... It's not going to be too useful for us, because there's nothing in this store, and there are no more stores. So. Oh well. Try and uh, orbit all these things, because they're invulnerable from the front, and that's really boring, and can't be bothered dealing with it. So, I think everything's okay right now. Um, this is not a strong boss rush floor. Uh, well, run, I suppose, because we're not... Ow. We're not brilliantly strong in the tiers department. We're mostly strong in... In the orbitals department, which is very dangerous when you're fighting a shitload of bosses at once. So, prepared to lose... Oh, we've got Book of Belial back. Hmm, interesting. So, we have to pick them up and put them down again? I'm not even going to bother doing that then. Right, they may have changed the way libraries were. It used to be that you keep re-rolling them. Each thing will only turn up once. And then the libraries will start re-rolling into non-library items. And then you start getting five re-roll pedestals all at once until you get awesome items. Apparently, that was not happening, judging by the fact that the Book of Belial turned up twice. That having happened, leads me to assume that that will continue to happen. And we're not going to be able to get the uh, good old behaviour of scumming it up to get a shitload of items out of it, which is a shame, because that used to be a really awesome way of... <laughs> it's a very rare thing to happen, to have uh, a good library like that with the D6. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not worth anything anymore. Uh, only, we're actually going quite slowly on this floor. Don't really know what I'm trying to find. Well, the other item room, for a start, but you know what it is. Uh, I'm not even going to take the damage to open that. I know it will assist us in terms of uh, points. Points mean prizes, or at least a position on the scoreboard to be proud of, or upset with, depending on how well we do. We do have to do Hush as well. Now, I keep going on about this. You know, oh, I've got to do Hush, blah, blah, blah. We do. We're not going to be contending if we're not doing Hush. But, this is not a strong run in terms of Hush. All stats up is helpful. The, the damage upgrade from SMB Superfan is one of the lowest of all the all stats upgrades. Is. However, it's not the only important stat. And I did walk into that enemy, I'm fully aware. Where is our final item room? Uh, that thing wasn't dead, so... Yeah. Uh, I guess that told me. That one turned invisible. Which is not something I'm down with. Yeah, it's over here. So the boss must be in the other dead end that we haven't explored yet. What can we hope to get from boss rush? Tears upgrade, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't really want to backtrack all the way back to get that, but at the same time... I don't want to have Cursed Eye Polyphemus because the charge time is going to be outrageous. And if we get hit, we teleport. Yeah, while it's charging, which is going to be a long time. Uh, I don't know what that does, so I'm not going to use it. We will backtrack because I said I wouldn't. And if I said I wouldn't do something, then it's probably exactly the right thing to do. We're going to be able to re-roll the boss rush item. Oh, fuck me. Well, it's five bombs, I guess. We're going to be able to re-roll the boss rush item several times during boss rush, provided it's a pick-up, put-down item, so I don't feel too bad that we're not going to be able to get a re-roll for the start of boss rush. It's not too important. Oh, might as well take this. I don't know what it does, but Hex 5 poop isn't going to help us. Yeah, you can blow that up. I'm happy with that. We'll take that, and we're nearly at the boss, which is... Great, frankly. Oh, there's also the boss item to come, because there's two bosses on this floor. So, maybe we can get something decent there. But, 
All right, item rooms have not been outrageously good for us, I'm afraid. Uh, I'll take the speed upgrade because I know what it does. I, mean, I think we have time to beat Mob. Uh, war is not going to last any time at all, as wars don't. Wars are not known for their... Uh... Whoa, careful. For their longevity. I'm <laughs> having trouble... Oh, you stopped. I don't expect you to do that. But you know, Kudos to you for doing so. Yeah, boss rush is going to be pretty difficult. That's our second level keeper meet, though. And here's the mom fight, which is not going to last long because we have an orbital, which makes the mom fight that much easier. Especially a strong orbital like Sackdown. Especially if we can get it to work. There we go. What? No? Anything? Good. We'll take the orbital, leave uh, the Polaroid, even though we don't have to. We'll open these, even though we probably shouldn't. Uh, AWAS doesn't help us. Infested. Telepills, not really what I'm after. Bad gas and help out. Full health. Close enough. Uh, it's going to have to be. Uh, we can't pick up and put down, I'm afraid, which is a shame. I would have liked to re-roll them, but we didn't get the opportunity. There weren't any more um, re-roll options either. We couldn't get another charge, is what I'm trying to say in a very awkward way. But Virgo's decent. Um, it can give us invulnerability when we get hit. And it ensures that all pills are not bad pills, even if we don't know what they are. So it's got a sort of a similar effect to PhD. Oh, <laughs> our damage is poor. We probably should have taken Book of Belial. There's not so much to re-roll now. But I'm happy to keep the D6 around. That's very helpful, though. I don't know what we did to deserve it, but I'm glad we did it. There's still that flappy thing flapping around. Oh, hello. You're in this run, are you? Well, I took some damage, but I got that job done, which I think is more important. The stain can be an excruciatingly annoying boss. So to manage to take it out uh, the way we did is extremely useful. It looks like we've got a champion boss rush going on. I'm going to blow this up so I can get back. There we go. Which means we don't need to worry too much about Carrion Queen, because Carrion Queen's usual irritation is to drop red poop everywhere. Champion Carrion Queen is actually slightly easier. Uh, pardon. Uh, we might as well use this invulnerability while we have it to do our orbital damage, get in there. I guess we didn't need to use um, the bomb to get this turn heart in the end, but oh well. What's done is done. Yeah, Champion Carrion Queen, we can just shoot these hearts, and it does damage to Carrion Queen. Which it drops instead of... I hate this. <laughs> Fucking... Our shot speed is slightly... ever so slightly faster than Carrion Queen, so we can hit it. But man, what a ball ache. And there's Brownie over there, I don't really want to deal with that. I get hit by this a lot, considering how easy it is to dodge. It doesn't seem to do anything while you're away from it, which is interesting. Polyphemus is great for rooms with multiple enemies and weak ones at that, but it's really not so great against bosses, so... I'm going to have to be super careful on this boss rush not to take any extremely stupid damage. We've already taken a lot of extremely stupid damage. I'm going to have to be even more careful not to die, if I can possibly avoid it. We have got the champion version of uh, Pestilence as well, which is also slightly easier than the normal version of Pestilence, because it only does that attack and not the stupid explodey attack which leaves creep. And if there's anything I hate, it's explodey attacks that leave creep. And, you know, taxes and Christmas and fun and everything I hold dear. Good. Just needs to keep hitting them, basically. But it's literally down to that. Just keep shooting the enemies. Try not to get hit by them. Especially if that champion monster mega more what a fucking crap shoot this is turning out to be bomb flies randomly distributing themselves around the map does not fill me with confidence either and this champion mega more is even harder than the original it took me a long time to learn to not get hit by the original and now we've got a new one a champion one it's even harder we've got to get rid of these bomb flies or they're going to kill me by accident I don't know if we're even going to make it to Hush, simply based on how long it takes to do, how long it's taking us to do this. Um, if we don't, I'm probably going to consider that half a bonus, 
and half a shame. Because, frankly, who wants to do hush? <laughs> Nobody. It's a little bit, um... You know, it's, it's a bit of a sore point. A point of contention, I suppose. I feel like the fact that hush is so required to compete in a daily challenge... Uh, it just feels wrong. <laughs> it's, a, it's an extremely boring fight. It's difficult, but it's not entertainingly difficult. It just goes on for a long time. You, know, you could probably manage it most times if it was about half as long. Because it's only it's only the longevity of it. It's only the fact that you're in it oh, that was bad. for so damn long that makes it difficult in the first place. You have to keep dodging. You, you just get worn down by the hush fight. It's a skill check, for sure, but it's a really fucking long one. Uh, we've got a uh, Loki have we? Yes. So, to make it impossible to compete... Hello? Loki? There you are. To make it such a requirement, so many points, just to get through it... Man. It's a grind. Which is why I like the the ones that stop at Mom's Heart. Because you don't have a chance to do Hush. If it stops at Mom's Heart, you literally cannot do Hush. No matter how hard you try. Um, the door... There's no way for the door to open, basically. Uh, I hope we get a Spirit Heart out of this, because I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurting for, for some HPs. This is a, fucking, such a long-ass fight as well. So we're not doing a huge amount of damage. We've really got to make every shot count, and it's not happening. Our spacebar item doesn't help us in any way, so probably should have taken the book of Bilal when we had the opportunity. Polyphemus is a great start to a run. You really need to get a decent tears upgrade, a really decent tears upgrade. You really need to get some sort of damage upgrade, or shot speed upgrade, or shot size upgrade, or piercing shots, or something like that. It just carries it a little bit further. I mean, we've got these orbitals, but I'm so reluctant to use them because we don't have a, a consistent way of making them work safely. And we've got Peep again with his fucking eyeballs. Never know where they're going to be. We've got this version of um, the Hollow, which stops every now and then to fire a pot shot at you. Where are the eyes? There's one over there, there's one over here. We're nearly done. I actually managed to land that shot. This fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Look. Steven explodes. So be careful of that. Little Steven detaches from Steven before you kill Steven. So be careful of that. There's a fucking silkworm just wandering around. Lost its parents years ago. So be careful of that. It's just everything to be careful of. If we can avoid killing that bony, I think we'll be okay for a while. Oh, we can one shot the head though. That went down faster than anticipated, so uh, I'm at least happy with that. Right, where's that bone? We've got the... We've got the... Fallen to deal with now. Frail? Forsaken. It's one of these F words. They've all got the same bloody name these days. Remember when uh, all the bosses had different names? You could tell them apart. Back in my idea. Chub should... Uh, Chad should go down reasonably quickly. We have a dark one knocking around as well. Where's Chad gone? Hello? He's making flies. Oh, where did you come from? I hate this. I can't see either of the things that are about to charge me from across the screen. <laughs> yeah, fun. Well, we're in it, so win it. Can't win if you don't play. I mean, that's fine. I could have just not played. Said, sorry, I can't be bothered today. No, you're damn good. Can you walk on the spikes? Is that too much to ask? They're right there. You know? I'm really half expecting the bloke to show up and just own me. Uh, Chub and... I'll get rid of Little Horn first, I think. Because it's just really annoying. It's a teleporting enemy. It turns up in random places. It's disappeared again. There's Chub. There you are. The trouble is with it, it can teleport bombs right next to you. There you go. You can have that. Yeah, like that. Case in point. Ooh. Thank you. Where's my enemy? Oh, enemy mine enemy. Stop putting troll bombs. That was a perfect shot. Thank you. Wow. Who would have thought the little horn would be that useful? Ever. 
four of them. Yep. We can probably ignore the gate just now until at least it spawns something that jumps on us from a great height. Oh god, we're okay. Is this one even going to spawn stuff that jumps on us? I don't know. Can I actually get anywhere where I can hit it? That's the real question. This seems viable, passable, doable. These actually seem more dodgeable than the... Oh, run away from those. They're definite. These seem more dodgeable than the new uh, Megamore, if I'm honest with you. They, always, they all seem to have a, a safety zone. Oh, we did it! And we got... Mm. That's infestation. Yeah, okay, good. <gasps> I thought it was quad shot. I was thinking, hmm, quad shot polyphemus? We're going to fire once every five minutes. But it wasn't. We're not going to make hush by any stretch of the imagination because we have less than a minute to get through the next two floors. Which is a relief, but also it means that we're not going to be quite as in the runnings as we were yesterday. So unless we can do our old uh, sacrifice room trick, which I think is unlikely with 3 HP, we're basically going to have to accept that we did our best. I'm assuming that there are seams, as usual, that other people will have found that allow you to really make the most of this run, get through boss rush a lot faster, maybe a better use of rerolls, or maybe I should have just taken little Steven to get all those extra shots on the screen, because the things that we got instead of the familiars that I didn't take, didn't make up for the familiars that I didn't take. Well, you know, which is not really ideal, I guess. So, we'll just take our sweet... Well, we'll try and go a bit faster just for expediency's sake, but... Uh, let's, um... Let's see what you've got for me. I'd like maybe an HP upgrade. Maybe the map. Okay. <laughs> Didn't cost very much at all, which uh, I'm a fan of. Kind of... Now, don't freak out. But this is Utero, right? Yeah. In the music in the background of Utero, I swear I can hear someone talking. Someone calling us. And I heard it just before I said don't freak out. So go back in the video, listen out to the background music and see if you can hear someone calling. Sounds like a woman, probably saying Isaac, and it's probably completely intentional and that's an incredibly bad place to stand. But I've yet to sort of catch it when I'm not making a noise myself when I'm not talking. That was really lucky. And this is not going to be Krampus. <gasps> yes. <sighs> I mean, we re-roll it, right? Oh, I don't want that anyway. So. <laughs> See, the option there was take it. Oh, there was a tinted rock. Ah! Never mind. We're okay. Take it. Put it back, re-roll it. But that would rely on the re-roll being that much better. So Death Touch is what I needed for Boss Rush. We have it now, but we didn't have it then. Never, never mind. You know, I'm I'm as much gratified not to have to do Hush as I am upset that we're not going to get the opportunity to get the points for doing Hush. Uh, yeah, you can have those, actually. I don't know what I'm up What am I doing? Huh? What am I even thinking? Whose game am I playing? This is Bum Friend's game. I can't see the creep on these... Uh, Curse of Darkness floors, which is problematic. Infested! Say it! Say it! Didn't say it. What an asshole. Good. Excellent. Look at all these uh, spiders we're making as a result of having one bus rush, which is our reward. <laughs> the thing about having the D6 is you either reroll everything or you don't reroll anything. It seems to be the way it goes. You reroll things into equally shit things or you don't reroll anything. Perks. Well, good to know, but it's not really going to help us. Power pill. Yep, also good to know. Not going to help us. I guess we could start looking for a second secret room. Probably one here. Anything good in here? <laughs> Maybe. I would like there to be a thing to re-roll. That's not a thing to re-roll. Invested? Look up. Uh, well, there's a thing. We can re-roll the devil if we don't get hit, which we're going to try not to, but we may yet. What's happening? Oh, shit. <laughs> it chains. 
I was expecting another turret. I was not at all expecting it. We're not getting a deal with the devil because if we get hit on the boss fight and take red heart damage, that's it. Game over. No devil deal for you. How the fuck do I not get hit here? Like that. Okay. Let's take that. I would very much like an HP upgrade, but tough. No well. Here we are on Shoal. This is the last floor. Uh, not doing stupendously well, just in terms of HP, to be quite honest with you. I hate those things. I'm so glad that we managed to get through that without taking any unnecessary damage. There's not going to be much to re-roll from now on either, so... I'm starting to think that maybe Booker Belial for boss rush. Booker Belial, Death's Touch, Polyphemus. That would be a pretty good run right now. Unfortunately, that is not what we have. Hmm. We, I don't think we've re-rolled anything since... Uh, since Book of Blau showed up. Not in a valuable way. You know, we, we could be second guessing ourselves in the future, going, well, maybe we should have re rolled everything. From here on, we'd be going, what would happen if we'd re rolled this, that, and the other? But, <coughs> excuse me, it's not actually been that much worth it. So, uh, I hate to admit it, but taking the Book of Blau would have been the correct thing. So, if you did do that, if you even play this game, we should. Hmm, kudos to you, you did it. Ah, uh, that's okay. Let's get another bomb in there anyway. Didn't really help. Never mind. No, don't go near it. Kick. I just need to get rid of them. Yeah, good. Right, now don't get hit by Satan. Ah! Didn't get hit by Satan. That's the exact thing I just told you to do. I told myself to not get hit by Satan, and I did not get hit by Satan, at least whilst I was telling myself to not get hit by Satan. I'm just going to keep doing this and talk over the top of it and hope that it all works out. We got through it. That is probably the hardest phase of most bosses so far, because there's so little room to manoeuvre. Uh, that should be reasonably obvious, but... I'd like to walk into these with my... Yeah, there we go. I think we'll do some more of this floor, because... 24,000 on a shell fight is not good enough. <laughs> Maybe we can find something really uh, game-breaking? Best case, um, we find our self-sacrifice room. And that it's valuable. Oof. Careful. Don't die having won. <laughs> that would be terrible. But a very me thing to do, I expect. No, no spirit hearts. That's okay. Maybe we can get into our curse room. Uh, we should try this side. Yeah, this looks um, like an option. No, we can't. We use the bomb. Well, there's this chat. At least everything's dying. That's a, a benefit. It's not really holding us to ransom for our shit damage or anything like that. We have, we have got enough damage to really get through this fight. The rest of this floor without too much heartache, except for that, which hurts, but that's okay. Excuse me, how are you not dead? I am so perplexed. That's okay. We've only taken one hit on all of Sheol, which frankly is unthinkable, so we should probably not look that particular gift horse in the mouth if we can avoid it. There's that bomb that I asked for. Let's see if we can get into this curse room. It could be really good for us. Why am I doing it and then coming back? Don't know. Really don't know. No curse room. No secret room there. No, that's fine. Try and remember about those spikes. You're going to walk on them at some point, I'm sure of it. <laughs> uh, a dark one fight. Just what I wanted. I'm really looking for a way to just do one more floor to make up for the fact that we couldn't get through uh, to Hush. So... We should do our due diligence in this respect and check every possible avenue of breaking out of the cage that the game has put us in. The satanic cage. The satan shaped box. With little horns and a uh, tiny little key. Uh, okay, I've got a bob item which I can re roll. Just for shits, I guess. Uh, God's flesh. <laughs> if we have to do the next, if we get the opportunity to do the next floor, then we shall, but apparently we will not. Well, we've got an infinite number of bombs. Let's find a secret room. Look, any of these things could be, okay. could be the way down. It's not going to be there. 
I don't think there is an opportunity to go down to the next floor. There may be something in the curse room, but I can't survive a trip to the curse room, so... I guess we're not going to that. Well, there's possibly a way to do the curse room. I'm not going to try. I'm going to call it there. 29,000 gets us at 1,700. Well, it's not as good as yesterday. But yesterday I did predict I'd get to, like, 7,000th. And I know I was exaggerating. I probably made that clear. And if I didn't make that clear, then I'm retroactively editing history now so that it was the case. Still, I was kind of hoping for a little bit better than that. Anyway, so be it. Thanks for watching. I had a good time. Very slow run, but a very, uh, a very satisfying one, I think. We got to the end. <laughs> I'm happy as long as we get to the end. So thank you for watching, and I will come back tomorrow for the next one, and I hope you do too.